It's time for another Disney Dreamlight Valley Star Path, and the theme of the new Star Path is a royal winter. As always you have three options to pick from, you can do the free Star Path which will allow you to complete three duties at a time, but you are limited to only claiming three rewards per page. Option 2 is the premium Star Path for 2500 Moonstones, which will unlock all the duties which will earn you enough event tokens to claim every single reward. Alternatively, you can purchase the 3300 Moonstone package which will give you the premium star path as well as 100 event tokens. This is a great option if you're not sure if you will be able to complete all the duties or if you want to use those additional tokens to purchase some additional Moonstones once you have claimed all the rewards. I normally opt for the 3300 packages as it's the best value for the number of Moonstones. Now that we've picked our package let's go through all the duties you will need to complete. There are 80 duties to complete so let's run through them. 1. Do some magical weed removal. For this one we'll need to remove 30 night thorns around our valley. 2. Go fish. You'll need to catch 30 fish from any biome. 3. Finish some royal work. For this task you will need to complete 10 dreamlight duties to gain some dreamlight. 4. Spend time with a magical mentor. We will need to spend 15 minutes hanging out with Merlin. 5. Give a villager something they love. We will now need to give 4 loved gifts to friends around our valley. 6. Build stuff. For this task we will need to head over to a crafting station and craft 5 items. I normally use this time to make some paths, I always seem to need more. 7. Go mine. For this task we will need to go mine 30 times, this can be in any biome, so it's a great way to collect some resources. 8. Harvest some red bush berries. We will now need to harvest 50 raspberries, these can be found in the plaza and peaceful meadows. 9. Cook some one ingredient meals. For this challenge you will need to cook 10 one star meals. One of the easiest ones to do would be fruit salad, which is one of any fruit. 10. Make small talk with your villagers. We will need to have two daily discussions with any of our valley friends. 11. Eat some fairly simple meals. For this challenge, we will need to eat 15 two-star meals. This can be a two-star or higher meal. 12. Fish for a deeply musical fish. We will need to catch 10 base, which can be found in the peaceful meadows, the forest of valor, the sunlit plateau, or the frosted heights. 13. Complete some royal work. We'll need to complete another 10 dreamlight duties. 14. Spend time with a silly stall owner. We'll need to hang out with Goofy for 15 minutes. 15. Delight a robot with his favorite gifts. We'll need to give Wally four of his favorite gifts, this will take about two days to complete. 16. Work a shift at Shea Remy. We will need to complete two orders at Remy's restaurant. 17. Mine some precious stones. We'll need to mine for 25 gems around our valley. 18. Forage for blue blooms. We will need to pick up 30 blue flowers in any of our biomes. 19. Show your critters some love. For this task you will need to have a critter as one of your companions, then you can pet them twice. 20. Chat with the valley's sharpest business duck. We will need to have two daily discussions with Scrooge McDuck, this will take two days to complete. 21. Collect something Scrooge would like in his pool. For this task we will need to sell some items to earn 10,000 coins. 22. Fish for an Arendellian favorite. For this challenge we will need to fish for 10 herrings, which can be found in the Glade of Trust or on Dazzle Beach from White Bubbles. 23. Finish some regal tasks. We'll need to complete another 15 dreamlight duties. 24. Hang out with a marvelous madrigal. We'll need to hang out with Mirabelle for 15 minutes. 25. Give a sweet and speedy villager her favorite gifts. For this challenge, we will need to give Vanellope 5 of her favorite gifts, it will take you about 2 days to complete. 26. Feed customers at Shea Remy. We will need to serve another three valley friends at the restaurant. 27. Mine some red gems. 
We will need to mine 10 garnets or rubies. Garnets can be found in the plaza and peaceful meadows. Rubies can be found in the Vitali's mine. 28. Gather white blooms. We'll now need to collect 30 of any white flowers in our valley. 29. Take a photo of a demigod's domicile. You'll need to take a photo of Maui's house. 30. Chat with a nautical enchantress. We will need to have two daily discussions with Ursula, this will take two days to complete. 31. Pull some in nighttime weeds. We will need to remove another 40 night thorns. 32. Go fish for something red with claws. For this challenge, we will need to catch five crabs or lobsters. Crabs can be found in the frosted heights by fishing blue bubbles. Lobsters are found by fishing gold bubbles in the Glade of Trust. 33. Complete some regal work. We will need to complete another 15 dreamlight duties. 34. Hang out with an ice harvesting loner. We'll need to hang out with Kristoff for 30 minutes. 35. Give a frosty princess her favorite gifts. We will need to give Elsa her favorite gifts five times, this will take about two days to complete. 36. Help Remy wait some tables. Head over to the restaurant to feed another four valley friends. 37. Go mining for anything shiny. We will need to mine any five shiny gems. 38. Harvest something red. For this task we need to harvest 50 of any red crops, that would be tomatoes, chili peppers, or bell peppers. 39. Cook some perfectly medium meals. We will need to cook 10 three-star meals. I like to cook berry salad, which has one raspberry, one blueberry, and one gooseberry. 40. Chat with the Queen of Arendelle. For this task we will need to have two daily discussions with Anna. This will take two days to complete. 41. Eat some nearly perfect meals. We will need to eat 15 four-star meals. 42. Catch some tentacled seafood. We will need to fish for 10 squid, these can be found in the Glade of Trust or the Forgotten Lands by fishing blue bubbles. 43. Finish some royal work. We will need to complete 15 dreamlight duties. 44. Spend time with a bow-wearing friend. Hang out with Minnie for 30 minutes. 45. Give favorite gifts to the woman from the willow. We will need to give Mother Gothill her favorite gifts 5 times. This will take about two days to complete. 46. Spend a shift at Shea Remy. You'll need to head over to the restaurant to feed five valley friends. 47. Mine a deep green gem. We will need to mine 10 emeralds in the Forest of Valor or the Glade of Trust. 48. Forage for some shells. For this task we will need to collect 30 clams, scallops or oysters on Dazzle Beach. 49. Find some fungi. We'll need to harvest 50 mushrooms in the Glade of Trust. 50. Chat with a temperamental sailor. We will need to have two daily discussions with Donald Duck. 51. Cast a dreamy vote, it's a snap. For this challenge, we will need to vote on 10 dream snap photos. This is the first time we've had a task like this in a star path. 52. Fish from orange circles in the Forest of Valor. We will need to fish in gold bubbles three times in the Forest of Valor. 53. Complete some royal work. We will need to complete 15 dreamlight duties. 54. Spend time with an main man. For this task we will need to hang out with Simba for 30 minutes. 55. Give a space ranger his favorite gifts. We will need to give Buzz his favorite gifts five times, this will take about two days to complete. 56. Work a shift at Shea Remy. You'll need to feed another five villagers at the restaurant. 57. Mine for a pink gem. For this task we will need to mine for ten tourmalins which can be found in the sunlit plateau or the frosted heights. 58. Craft a yuletide animal. To complete this challenge you will need to head to your crafting station to craft three yule goats. 59. Pick a sour fruit. 
we will now need to harvest 50 lemons in the glade of trust or the forest of valor. 60. Chat with the valley's sheriff. For this task we will need to have two daily discussions with Woody, this will take two days to complete. 61. Uproot the night thorns. We'll need to remove another 50 night thorns. 62. Fish for the most royal of fish. We will need to catch two kingfish from Dazzle Beach, these can be found by fishing blue bubbles. 63. Complete some royal work. You'll need to complete another 15 dreamlight duties. 64. Spend time with a skilled huntress. For this task you will need to hang out with Nala for 30 minutes. 65. Give favorite gifts to a tiny chef. We will need to give Remy six of his favorite gifts, this will take about two days to complete. 66. Craft a potion you can really dig. For this task we will need to craft the, even more miraculous shovel varnish. 67. Dig up some vital crystals underground. We'll need to head to the Vitali's mines to mine up 30 Vitali's crystals. 68. Buy something cold. For this task we'll need to go to Shea Remy to purchase 30 slush ice. 69. Cook the finest of fine dining meals. We will now need to cook 10 five-star meals. My favorite is always Arendellian pickled herring. 70. Discuss matters with a prideful villain. We will need to have two daily discussions with Scar, this will take two days to complete. 71. Enter a snapshot in a dreamy competition. For this task you will need to submit a photo for one of the Dream Snaps challenges. 72. Fish for a fish whose name looks like Walleyes. We will need to head over to the Sunlit Plateau to catch a walleye from Gold Bubbles. 73. Complete some royal tasks. For this task we will need to complete 20 Dreamlight duties. 74. Spend time with a snowman. We'll need to hang out with Olaf for 30 minutes. 75. Give a seafaring prince his favorite things. We will need to give Prince Eric five of his favorite gifts, this will take about two days to complete. 76. Serve up some delicious orders. We'll need to head over to Shea Remy to feed six of our valley friends. 77. Mine a shiny red gem. We'll need to head over to the Vitali's mines to mine for two shiny rubies. 78. Do you want to build a snow family? For this task we will need to head to our crafting station and craft any four of the snow people. 79. Eat something you cooked perfectly. We will need to eat 15 five-star meals for this challenge. 80. Chat with the Pumpkin King. For this challenge we will need to have two daily discussions with Jack Skellington. This will take two days to complete. Now that we've completed all the duties let's go through all the amazing rewards we can purchase with our event tokens. Each page has a combination of rewards so let's go through the list. On page 1 you will be able to collect 100 moonstones for 10 tokens. Next there are two new motifs to collect on this page, each will cost you 10 tokens. Then we have two fashion items. First is the winter's fawn makeup for 15 tokens. And then we have these gray winter gala trousers for 30 tokens. These are a lot different from what we got last year, the colors are more neutral which I like. Then we have our first decor item which is this super cute cozy winter bench for 30 tokens. This is going to look so cute in the frosted heights. And the last item on this page is our special critter for this star path, which is the snowy raccoon for 50 tokens. I normally love the raccoons, but I'm not sure about this one, he's a bit creepy, there's just something off about his face. Does anyone else think he's weird looking or is it just me? I really loved a few of the items on page 2, so let's go through them. First up you can use 20 tokens to claim your 200 moonstones. Next we have our two motifs for this page, each will be an additional 10 tokens. Then we have this beautiful wintry magic wallpaper for 10 tokens. This is such a pretty wallpaper and I can't wait to use it. Next we have these giant silver ornaments for 20 tokens. These are perfect for decorating around my valley for the festive season. 
and they look so beautiful with the winterful branch arch for 20 tokens. I think all of these will look so nice in the frosted heights. And the last item on this page would be the gray oxfords for 35 tokens, these are meant to be paired with the trousers. Let's have a look at page 3. First we have our 250 moonstones for 25 tokens. Next up we have our two motifs for 10 tokens each. We have two more clothing items on this page, first is our winter gala ice antlers for 15 tokens, and the grey winter gala boots for 30 tokens. These boots are so cute I would love ones like these in real life. Next up we have two furniture items, first up is the winter iron lamp for 30 tokens, and the decorative winter vase for 35 tokens. I'll definitely get some use out of the lamp but I'm not too sure about the vase. On to page 4 where we start off with our 350 moonstones for 35 tokens. Then again we have two motifs each for 10 tokens. It seems all the motifs in this star path have a similar design. Next we have another wallpaper, this time it's the wintry birch wallpaper for 10 tokens. This one is less festive so I can see it being used more frequently. Then we have two furniture items, first is the luminous snowflake statue for 35 tokens, then we have the royal ice skate rack for 30 tokens. I love the skate rack and how the skates represent different characters. The final item on this page is the grey winter gala coat for 30 tokens. Again I really love the fashion items in this path. Moving on to page 5 we start off with our 400 moonstones for 40 tokens. On this page, we have 3 motifs again for 10 tokens each, they are all following the same design as the others. Then we have our next clothing items which is this gorgeous grey winter gala gown for 30 tokens. We also get to collect the beautiful luxury snowflake rug for 40 tokens. And the final item on this page is the first of two character dream styles you can unlock in this star path, this one is the winter's wonder bell for 50 tokens. Once you open page 6 you can start by claiming your 610 moonstone for 60 tokens. Next we have our final two motifs for 10 tokens each. Then we can claim our only flooring for this star path, which is the snowflake tile flooring for 10 tokens. Then we can purchase our final clothing items, and it's definitely a beautiful piece, I can't wait to wear these wings of winter which you can unlock using 30 tokens. Then one of the bigger items in this path is the splendid ice rink for 30 tokens. And our final reward is Ariel's winter skin for 50 tokens. I can't wait to dress my characters in their festive outfits. Once you've purchased all the rewards from each of the 6 pages you will be able to unlock the final page which will give you the option to redeem any remaining tokens for additional moonstones. Depending on whether you purchase the premium path or the premium option with an additional 100 token you will have either 10 or 110 tokens remaining to exchange for moonstones. You will not be able to unlock this page unless every single item has been claimed. And that is everything for the Royal Winter Star Path. I have seen some comments of players being a bit disappointed with some of the items and the theme of the path, but I personally love the items in this star path. They're a bit more neutral which makes them easier to use with other decorations and I think they will look so beautiful in the frosted heights. What do you think of the star path and all the rewards we get to claim? But that's all for this video, as always please leave us a like if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I hope to see you next time as we continue our Disney adventures.